My name is Paul, and this is my lovely now wife, Shahika. On the 12th of February 2019, I um, suffered a heart attack and uh, cardiac arrest, and am one of the luckiest people around because um, Shahika had called the uh, London Ambulance Service because she realised I was a lot more poorly than I thought, and so when uh, I actually had my cardiac arrest, um, there was a team from the ambulance service with me at the time and able to immediately take action to uh, sort things out. My name is Nick Sillett. Um, I'm an advanced primary practitioner in critical care for the London Ambulance Service. Um, I was one of the team that was fortunate enough to be involved uh, in Paul's cardiac arrest and his survival. Um, he was originally attended by an ambulance crew who attended Paul for chest pain. Um, Paul presented um, well whilst they were in the process of getting Paul to get his bits together and leave the house. Paul suffered a cardiac arrest which was witnessed and identified by Thelma and Solomon very quickly um, and they, they initiated the first chain of the chain of survival which is early identification. Two and a half years on, um, very happily here to tell the tale. I was in uh, intensive care for uh, three days and uh, at least according to Shahika, the first thing I said when I woke up was we should get married. We got married um, on the 10th of January uh, 2020, um, just uh, just under a year later. So that was, uh, that was absolutely fabulous. We'd been together for 12 years before that, but um, this was the prompt that made us get married and uh, the other uh, the other joyous thing that's happened since then was my daughter gave birth to uh, my first grandchild a grandson who uh, I would never have um, got to see were it not for the team from the London Ambulance Service. It takes a team to save a life there's no individual involved in saving someone's life it is a it is a team effort um, from the public the call handling staff, the dispatch staff and the clinicians on scene. In my 15 years I've never met a cardiac arrest survivor so to meet Paul was really moving and something that I will never forget as long as I live. To say thank you is completely inadequate. I can't, um, you can't express my gratitude and admiration for what they do, um, and uh, one of the uh, one of the things that I did try and do um, whenever the opportunity presents itself is to say thank you to any and every member of the London Ambulance Service that I meet.